Welcome to the next iteration of Silent Push's series on understanding Web Scanner. In this episode, we'll be talking a little bit more about Silent Push's data sources for Web Scanner. So if we go over to the left hand side of the screen and hit the Web Scanner button, one of the key pieces that a lot of people might not know about are the different data sources that we can actually utilize to get data that isn't traditionally understood as web or content scanned data. Here, in order to explore those data sources, all we need to do is utilize a particular field name. So let's use data source equals to, and let's take a look at services. So one thing that we're able to do is actually look across the different banner data that is appearing across different ports in IPs that we scan. So here we can see, for example, a banner that says DNS in this particular case that allows us to be able to tell a little bit more about what's happening here on port 53 for this particular IP. Now we can do this for other different data sources here as well. Another one that we have is open directory where we can go out and actually look for open directories that exist across the internet. And here we can see instances like the name of that particular file, in this case, not.php, existing on this 51.210 uh, IP. Now we can always add to this here as well and use that name field in order to look for things like, let's say, netcat.exe existing across our data set. And here we can see different examples of that actually appearing. The third that I actually wanted to talk about here today is a data source that we call TorScan. So one of the fun things that we're actually able to do with web scanner data is actually look across the dark web as well as the clear web, so to speak. So here, if we enter in that TorScan data source, we're able to see all of the different data that we get back from our dark web scan. Now, what's really great about this is not only can we get the same fields that we can come to expect from a clear web web scanning source, but we can actually use that same URL and hit that in our live scanning functionality in order to understand what is being hosted on that particular domain. So when this comes back, what you'll see is something very similar to what you can expect from a traditional clear web live scan where we have that risk score, all of those different fields coming back and then towards the very top, when this uh, loads here, we'll be able to actually see the screenshot itself from that particular site. There we go. All right, that's all we have for this episode. Stay tuned for the next one.